Except for its single week atop the record charts in Australia, Red Dog's latest album, Tough Stuff, has suffered poor sales and minimal airtime on the radio. So our idiom is really except for, um, and then X is, you know, we would have the object of the preposition, which would be a noun. So except for its single week makes sense, um, and it's a week atop the record charts. That sounds plausible. Um, B has except for its single week in being atop the record charts. We don't have to add in being um, since it was fine in choice A without that, so B introduces extra words. C, accepting its single week atop the record charts. Now, accepting is grammatically correct, um, but it's a really less common usage and it might alienate some readers. So uh, stranger or rarer styles are generally not favored. So if you can go with the more normal one, you should. Um, D says, in addition to its single week, that's contrary to what the sense of the sentence is saying. It's trying to say uh, that it's um, except for rather than in addition to. So uh, then we leave E. Besides, there was a single week. Uh, besides is a preposition, and it expects a object, not a clause. So, um, so we can get rid of choice E as well and select choice A.